All right, so it's the morning after and I wanted to show you the sand bunker and how it turned out after having all night to do its thing. If you like what I'm doing, subscribe. So to start this story, we have to start the day before. Let's do this. We just had a lot of rain here in the Midwest and I have an area out here that I call the sand bunker and my sand bunker tends to get filled up with water. Check it out. Now with the sand bunker, I do make a concerted effort to drain it after we do get a lot of rain or it gets filled up with water like that. Uh, the plan will be to connect to my garden hose, connect to the spigot and then run it out there to my creek. So let me kind of show you where the creek's at. So what I'm gonna do is create a siphon with my garden hose and drain my sand bunker into the creek right back here. So let's go ahead and get going on that project. Gotta wash my head. Let's go to the garden hose. So to be able to do this, I have 100 feet of garden hose and then I have a water spigot right there. And then you can see right here, I have a fitting that I'll put on the end of the uh, 100 feet of hose. So I'm gonna connect it to the sand bunker, run it out to the creek to create the siphon. So the next step is gonna be to run it out to the, the creek. I try to put it as low as I can without putting it in the water. So right about there should be good. And then I go back. So now that I have the garden hose out to the creek, it's time to turn on the water. So let's do it. Now when I turn on that water, I turn it on full blast because I want there to be a good amount of water pressure pushing through this line. So what I need to do next is run the water through the garden hose and then shut it off. So you basically want to get out all the air that might be in the line. It's time to go turn it back off at the house and then disconnect it. So now I'm back at the spigot. So what I need to do is turn the water off and then disconnect this as quick as possible. The key is when I disconnect this, I gotta plug the end of it so that the water doesn't pour out the end. So here we go. Okay, so I'm holding the pressure on the end of this line and I'm just gonna go ahead and take it down to the, the sand bunker. And then you want to put this in a really low spot, as low as you can find. For me, it looks like it's right about there. And that water is cold. Now I do recommend putting a rock on it because if the end of that hose pops up out of the water, the siphon will be no longer functioning. So at this point, it's time to go open it up on the other end. Now that I have the garden hose in the sand bunker, I can now open it up on the end where the water is. The key is when I take off the spray nozzle, that I keep the end of the hose as close as I can to the water. So here we go. So because temperatures are dropping in the Midwest, you know, to cover up your outdoor spigots just to make sure you don't have any water bursts over the winter time so you southern people don't have to worry about doing this every fall so at this point there's probably about another hour or so till this sand bunkers dried out pretty good at that point i will let nature take over and the sycamore tree will suck that up pretty quick uh so other than that that's what i do to manage the water in this spot other than that have a great night all right so it's the morning after and i wanted to show you the sand bunker and how it turned out after having all night to do its thing. And that's what Mother Nature and the Sycamore Tree will do for you. If you like what I'm doing, subscribe. Make sure to hit that like button.